day two. Still driving. Still driving. It's about 12.30. Is that accurate? Do we need to change time zones? No. We don't change time zones, do we? No. No. We're all Midwest. We're so very we're central. Yeah. We're staying with central time zone. So we're, uh, it's day two. We're on the road. We're heading down to Austin. We are right now still in Oklahoma. Got a little bit of a late start this morning. I kind of forgot to bring underwear, so we're going to be rectifying that at a stop today. And if I am gullible enough, we'll go ahead and film that. You guys can see that later. That'll be <laughs> enjoyable for everyone. <laughs> um, but just kind of where we're at so far, we've got a lot of cool stuff going on with the car. We figured out how to get the Wi-Fi hooked up yesterday. So there's... You what's great is that, yeah, I mean, what's awesome is that with the, the MiFi, we're able to actually plug it in and turn the car into its own local hotspot. Yeah, so where is the MiFi? So all our devices are, I think the MiFi is up. There's your clip. We're very networked. Um, there's your clip. Yeah, we lost your huh. clip. Uh, so, okay, one of those little Wi-Fi hotspots that you get from really any carrier. You basically, you plug it into, uh, there's two USBs in the, uh, you know, center console thing here. Plug it in, um, your... The My4 Touch Tech in the dashboard will pick it up and create a gateway out of it. So basically, it turns your whole car into a giant router for your Wi-Fi hotspot. So on the way, it was dark; we couldn't film it. But on the way down here last night, uh, I've got a laptop open. We've got like five different connected devices going. Yeah, we got iPads, mobile phones, phones, and I'm tweeting in the back. You're editing video. The car next to us could be taking advantage of our wireless. It's great. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. I'll be honest with you, we're, I, I think we're all officially ruined for regular cars and driving experiences. We had our three guys in a Ford background uh, wallpaper on the on the My Ford Touch dashboard thing. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, we're officially wired up and we're officially driving the geeky way. This should be the way you're required to drive to South by Southwest. Absolutely. You shouldn't be able to take regular cars. It's not really fair to the conference. It's quite the advantage with the amount of power this thing can get put out with all the laptops that we have going on. And Speaking of power, this thing's peppy. Absolutely. The car is great. It handles well uh, with the heavy luggage and the heavy passengers. Um, we're not small enough. Exactly. Hey, really quickly. We're not small hey enough. Uh, myself included. No, yeah. it's, uh, it's great. I My love tummy it. is Yeah, it's got some pep. It, uh, it handles really... I drove it earlier. It handles really tight. Um, I can't believe how much room the thing's got on the inside. We've got three large men in here and full luggage. And yeah, I mean, well, I was back. really worried when we were going to bring all our luggage that we'd have to put the, the seats down. They actually have, you know, the 6040 seats here. Um, but everything fit in the back perfectly. And so we have the ability to access our laptops. And, uh, of course, my Muppet, uh, who's uh, hanging out in the back. Where is he? Is he in the back? Yeah, he's sleeping. We need to find some glue for the Huda Stash Muppet. Yeah. That, that might be coming out later. The glasses on the Huda Stash got a little damaged along the they way. They got a little smushed. But he's doing well. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks everybody for throwing songs on our uh, Spotify playlist. That's been very enjoyable for the most part. <laughs> With some exceptions and you know who you are. We have enforced uh, some degree of veto right. Yes, we've eliminated Nickelback from the playlist. There's so only so much Nickelback I can there's take. There's only so much Chad Kroger I can have in my brain, in my ear holes, and in my mind. I can't do anymore. So that's been vetoed um what else we're gonna we're gonna keep video coming as much as we can for you guys today and upload stuff from the road we did have a request to get a trucker to do a little horn honk so we're gonna try to pull that off here um on camera on camera of course because we do it all the time otherwise yeah we've already had like 12 of truckers honk their yeah, way you totally no big it. deal yeah you guys weren't there it was really cool um uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. We'll try to take uh, some pictures of signs and stuff and post that up. So make sure you're following along, uh, Three Guys in a Ford on Twitter. And uh, threeguysinaford.com is our Tumblr where we're putting all the video and pictures and stuff too. So talk to you guys soon. See ya.